Hey guys, welcome back. This is your host, Classic Plastic 918, with another unboxing video. Um, as you can probably tell, I've got even more boxes uh, probably than the last time I uh, made a video. The uh, orders just keep coming in, and I, at this point, I don't even remember everything that I ordered. But the good news is that you'll be um, just as surprised as I am, or I'll be just as surprised as you are when I open up some of these boxes and uh, see what's inside. Um, so I remember I opened a smaller box the last time. So this time, I think maybe I will go for one of the uh, the larger boxes and see what's in there. So without further ado, I'll grab one out of the stack and we'll see what we've got in there, okay? Hopefully it'll be something interesting. All right, so I decided to grab this box, and um, as normal, do our customary uh, packing peanut recycling check. It looks like there's a couple of packing peanuts in there. Not really sure what's at the bottom of this box, but looking forward to being surprised. So let's get all this stuff out of the way, and we'll figure it out. All right, so there's our recycled box of packing peanuts. It's getting pretty full. It's not quite full to the top yet, but it's definitely getting there. Maybe when uh, I get the box completely full, I'll do like a raffle or something, and uh, I'll send something to some lucky viewer or subscriber who um, tunes in, and I don't know, I'll run a contest or something, but... Definitely have to find a way to recycle all of these cool boxes and packing peanuts. Um, so I opened up the box and it looks like there's a card in there. I wasn't expecting that. So not really sure what it says, but it looks like it could be something cool. So I am going to open the card and we'll see what it says. Oh, so this is really cool. So, um, I actually ordered this one from, um, one of the other members that was, um, in the, uh, I think it was either the Super Plastic Marketplace or in the, uh, Janky Junkies, um, Facebook group. And so... She actually put a really nice card in there, so I really appreciate that. So thank you so much, Donna. And again, thank you for the uh, King Janky II. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. So let's go ahead and get this uh, cool super plastic uh, King Janky II out of here. And there you can see it's in the box. So. Let's open it up and find out what it looks like. Well, so there you can see um, she did a really great job of packing the uh, King Janky II. Not only was it uh, shipped um, super fast and wrapped up in bubble wrap, but also it looks like she wrapped it in an additional little bit of plastic here to uh, make sure that the box arrived safe and sound and in good shape. So that's really, really sweet and awesome. And she did a great job. And again, thanks Donna for uh, for hooking me up. I've been looking for the uh, King Janky II uh, figure for a while. And um, I found a lot of them that had already been opened and taken out of the package but this one is new in the box and it hasn't been opened yet. So I'm really excited to be getting this one because I can add it to my collection with my King Janky the first and my King Janky the third that I already have. And of course I haven't opened the boxes. So both of those are also um, still new in the box. And now that I have this little guy to complete the set, I think that I will probably keep them all in the box and just not open them. And maybe just buy uh, another set of the uh, same figures just um, without the box or 
that have already been opened so that I can display them alongside of the uh, the boxed figurines that I have here so um, let's go ahead and open this up take it out of the plastic and we'll see what the box and there you have it one minty fresh King Janky the um, second Wow I really am impressed um, great packaging great overall design um, I can see why this one is really uh, a crowd favorite um, the King Janky the first is definitely a great looking uh, figurine but this one's got a little bit more swagger to it and a little bit more style so um, it just looks a little bit more a little bit more edgy so um, definitely a really really cool figurine to get um, like I said the box is still unopened so it's all minty fresh and everything looks nice and, and tight um, box is in good condition so this is really exciting I'm glad to add this to my collection um, let's turn around here so we can take a look at the back side of the box too and there's the back of the box so definitely great looking great looking figurine here and um, like I said just nice to have it and it's uh, still in the box and everything's sealed up nice and tight mint condition so this is a great addition to my collection and I'm really glad that I got this one uh, let's see what the bottom looks like and the bottom of the box is uh, sealed as well so everything looks great like I said um, this is the first uh, super plastic figurine I purchased from someone in the Facebook group and I was definitely really uh, pleased with how the transaction went um, everybody in the group seems to be pretty cool and uh, it's a great community so far so hopefully I have a chance to uh, purchase some other figures I'm looking for um, or if you guys can suggest any of the uh, the uh, three to three and a half inch janky uh, figurines that I should get next just let me know in the comments below um, don't know if I'm gonna get all of them I think that um, the last time I checked there were maybe I want to say 70 pieces in total of all the uh, super plastic uh, the current lineup of super plastic uh, art toys so um, I've got quite a few now but uh, as you can tell by the box I think most of those if not all of those are going to be super plastic toys um, maybe a few surprises in there but um, not really sure I'm going to get all of them um, because the collection is just massive and then when you add in the alternative versions and the different colorways and the chase um, special jankies and some of the other ones um, you know it's just a huge huge collection so um, initially I just wanted to stick with collecting the super janky figures but um, I noticed that the king janky figures were kind of cool and um, I like the first three or four so far not really sure about some of the newer ones that they're coming out with but um, definitely the King Janky the first second and third were some of my favorite designs and so I figured I'd go ahead and uh, grab those and you know at least add them to my collection so I'd have them so that's pretty cool so let's see, hang on one second here because I want to get another shot of these. And actually I have this envelope. I'm not really sure exactly what's in it, but I figure what the heck, since I'm already here, maybe I'll do a bonus unboxing because I'm not really sure what's in this envelope. So let's take a look at this together and find out what it is. Oh, so this is actually a complete and total surprise. Um, I actually saw some of the uh, Kid Robot um, Dunny collectibles, and I don't know that much about them, but as I was looking for uh, super plastic art toys and collectibles, 
I came across um, some pretty cool designs uh, by some of the same artists that have done some things for um, Super Plastic. So this one is actually um, a kid robot dunny. I think it's the uh, Fatality Series Blue figurine, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I wasn't expecting that to be in that envelope, but I am definitely glad to have it because it's actually a pretty cool little art toy in and of its own right. And uh, like I said, I probably won't collect a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, other toy lines. Um, and typically, I just kind of buy what what I like and stuff that catches my eye, but. If I see an interesting design or if I see something that's by an artist I like, um, I usually will try to pick up uh, some of their other figures, um, especially if it has like a really cool kind of design to it. So let's unwrap this little guy and see what it looks like. So there you can see the figurine a little bit better and it's got a really cool design. It almost reminds me of um, like the Lotus uh, design by uh, Mizuno, I think, who does the uh, the Lotus figurines for Super Plastic. And I think this one's called uh, Catalina Estrada. Yeah, so maybe, I'm not sure if it's... Uh, the Junko Mizuno design, but definitely has the same kind of uh, inspiration um, or actually let's see maybe uh, maybe it's a Catalina Estrada design maybe that's the artist I guess that's the artist oh looks great though that's actually really really cool and it'll go nice with my uh, my white lotus uh, figurines that I have with my super plastic collectible. So let's get this out of the bag and take a closer look at it. Yeah, so there it is. And I think uh, it's a Fatal by a Fatal Dunny designed by Catalina Estrada. So there you can see it. And that card actually makes a great background for it, so I may actually even display it just like that. But um, once again, just a great figure, and I um, figure I'd show you guys something a little different uh, for a change. And uh, if you guys know of any other collectible art toys that you recommend or that you're interested in, let me know. I might uh, be interested in picking those up as well. So I'll give you a few parting shots here of the... Uh, of the Dunny, and then also you've got the King Janky the second there in the background. It's definitely a great, beautiful design on this uh, little three inch Dunny here. Really, really nice. And there's the back, just beautifully painted. Great detail. Definitely looks like uh, some of the Mizuno designs um, in terms of like just the intricate details and some of the, the colors and the flowers and other little ornamental accents so really really happy with how that turned out and this is just like i said a great and pleasant surprise so hope you guys enjoyed the video and um feel free to like share and subscribe and i've got a bunch more to open i'll get to them eventually and i've got new stuff coming in every day so let me know if there's anything you guys want to see so Thanks again for tuning in. Bye.